Swindon has always had a rich and proud engineering history going back to the days of Isambard Kingdom Brunel. So how wonderful it is to hear that the old school buildings behind me, part of the Great Western Railway Works, are going to be returned to a seat of learning as it becomes one of Britain's UTCs, University Technical Colleges. With the water tower behind me becoming a main feature of the new college, around about 600 students between the ages of 14 and 19 are going to be starting their engineering courses in September 2014. So now the job is to attract those students and what better venue than the Steam Museum here in Swindon. It's going to, it's going to represent, uh, present a huge boost to the town um, and, and its morale. It'll um, refocus uh, the life of the, and a buzz of the town around the older part of the, of the, this, the heritage part of the town and that will spread uh, across, across the town. Um, it will give everybody a uh, inspiration for the future of their, their children and their young people and their development and it will re-engage the local employers with the population of Swindon. This is going to make a huge difference uh, for our business and many other businesses uh, locally. Um, it will also take away the stereotype of what an engineer um, is and the perception of an engineer being a hard-hatted, yellow visor, white jacket uh, type of engineer and actually open the doors to uh, getting people thinking about the different types of engineering and actually what sort of subjects uh, it involves. The aim is to attract more and more women into, engine, uh, into engineering but we need to sort of make engineering more exciting and I appreciate that. We want complete involvement into the UTC. We appreciate that it that takes all sorts uh, um, for a company to kind of become involved in that and it will take a lot of time um, and resource for us as a business but we're willing to dedicate that um, because for us this is really important to start growing and shaping engineers locally and hopefully nationally. Now what about you becoming one of the first students at the UTC? How excited are you about that possibility? Very, <laughs> definitely very. So tell me what you're going to feel like walking through the doors as one of those first students. What do you think it's going to help you achieve? Um, it will help me achieve like becoming a mechanical engineer when I'm, I grow up because that's what I want to be. And is there a particular of mechanical engineering you want to be doing? Is there a particular area? Um, not really, but I would like to work for Network Rail. Now, we're also joined by your grandmother, Jacqueline, and it's great to see the different generations here, because Lewis, the next generation, and you come from a generation that, of course, you remember when it was the hive of the railway industry. Yes, I worked in the offices here, in the supplies and contracts department. Um, my father was um, a fitter and turner in the R shop, and my grandfather... Um, was a wheelwright. If, if my dad was alive, I mean, he would, well, he'd be over the moon about this, you know, that we're actually sat in here. And he only used to work just around the corner in the R shop. <laughs> this is a, a totally integrated uh, educational package um, with all the elements of the core curriculum um, as well as uh, the added value of uh, participating in real projects with real employers and getting real experience right from the word go at the beginning. If I had the chance to go to the UTC, it may develop my chances a bit more. Now what did you think yeah. about this evening, hearing all the news, seeing the pictures, the video, hearing yeah. from the various people involved, what did you think? It was um, very informative and it gave you a sort of head start on what's going to happen. I mean, how important is this for you as a parent that something like this UTC is here? Well, I think it's very important as a parent because it's getting harder and harder to get jobs because of the numbers in this country and to get more specialised people into it. So to get a head start into a career like this is a really good start for them. Isn't it great to see Swindon's engineering legacy being carried through and forward into the 21st century? And with planning permission now being granted on July the 9th for the new UTC, hopefully there'll be some people going through the doors in September 2014 who are going to make this man very proud. This is Alistair Greener for Swindon Web TV at Steam Museum.